Crystal Horton, and on behalf of Accelerate Marketing, it is an honor today that I get to interview Colin Fulton of Edwards Windsor. How are you, Colin? Uh, I'm very well today. Uh, health Crystal? <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> I do have some questions for you today as we are going to be discussing um, how to find a property manager. And for anybody that's out there watching us, please comment below so that you can receive instant access to a free Hobart location report delivered via Messenger. So, Colin, question of the day. How do most people find a property manager? Uh, most people that, that would own or, or purchase an investment property uh, would probably start by, by doing some research on, on the internet. So they'd probably go into Google to search for, for property managers. They might ask uh, friends and acquaintances who also own uh, property manager uh, who own rental properties who, who they use. Um, and sometimes if they're buying an investment property, they might uh, talk to the, the agency they're, they're buying it through. But most of all, people will, will do some research and, and mostly today people head to the internet first to do research and, and find out information and then start their conversations from there. Oh, neat. So now if a person goes to the internet, are there certain things that you would suggest like keywords or some type of phrases in order to find um, a good property manager? Uh, they might start with the suburb where they own their investment property, um, type that in and looking for property management companies or property managers in that area. Uh, and from there, they might uh, look at the, the website of that agency uh, and then start to do their, their research around around those things. But normally they start with the suburb or, or the city in which they own their investment properties uh, to find tenants. I see. <laughs> now, um, I also have another question, which is what are three things that you would look for in a great property manager? I think one of the first things you should look for in a property manager is, is someone that you can trust. Um, an investment property or, or a couple of investment properties can be, be big uh, financial decisions uh, for people and, and, uh, and they can have uh, a lot of investment tied up in those. So having an, uh, a property manager that they have a level of trust trust with is, is very important. And, and how they would, would go about that is they would probably again, go online and, and look for reviews. They, they would uh, type in and look for the reputation of that person and find out what other people say about uh, their ability to, to manage their property uh, and, and build up a relationship from there. Probably the, the second thing that people might look for is, is a guarantee. If you find someone that's truff, trustworthy and they have good online reviews, they should offer some kind of guarantee be, uh, for their services. So insisting on a guarantee and, and finding some guarantees along the lines of how quickly they can, can find a tenant uh, and making sure that they process that tenant's application correctly to put the right person in the property, someone that will look after it. Uh, quite often to make sure they, they guarantee that it won't be vacant for a long period of time. And a really important one is looking for someone that'll, that'll guarantee the rent so that uh, if you're paying the agency to, to find a tenant, and they vet that tenant correctly and put them in, they should be guaranteeing that that tenant will always pay their rent um, and that you, the owner, shouldn't be out of pocket. And the, th the third thing you should always look for is, is um, skill. Negotiations are leasing skills so that the, the person that you're uh, appointing to manage your investment property uh, has some level of skill in being able to, to find tenants in a, in a timely manner and, and let your property as quickly as they can um, so that you have a good quality tenant in the shortest possible period of time with someone that you trust to look after your investment. Oh, wow. So now, wow. <laughs> Are there, would you suggest that there be some key questions to ask a property manager in order to make sure that those three things kind of align correctly? Um, yeah, look, some of the key questions are obviously asking for a guarantee is the first thing. What, what guarantees do you offer for your service? 
um, and to make sure that they do offer some guarantees. If they won't guarantee your services, you, you certainly um, would, would then have to raise a question mark uh, and asking them for even some, some current clients that you might be able to talk to um, as well because if, if they're a trustworthy person and they guarantee their services, they should have no no issues with with providing some some names of, of clients for you to, to talk to uh, and, and asking them about their processes of how they go about finding tenants and to show you how they can, can let properties in a, in a, a short time frame. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure there were, you know, if there was a, like a secret secret question that may need to be asked or some things that some people aren't necessarily aware of as far as um, uh, like the guarantees of what to look for in a guarantee. If there's some things that you have seen as far as um, a guarantee not necessarily showing something that would be a value but may come across you know incorrectly if that makes sense <laughs> no, no it doesn't and I think one of the important things there is, is even before you go down the, the path of, of finding someone to manage your property um, everyone's different and everyone looks for for different things in in their property manager so probably before you ask questions to your property manager, it's important to ask questions to yourself in that, well, what are we looking for in a property manager? Um, because if you actually work out what you are looking for in a property manager as an investor, uh, you can then frame your questions to, to the property manager because you want a property management company that's able to, to deliver what you want. So asking yourself, one, why do I want a property manager? Uh, and two, how would I like that property manager? How would I like to communicate with them? How would I like them to manage my property? Uh, and what kind of level of service have I, would I like? So if you ask yourself those questions first and write them down, once you've answered those questions, then out of that you can formulate the questions to ask the property manager so that you're actually interviewing the property manager and they're not telling you what you want. Yes, that is an excellent tip because... Um, I've been there <laughs> where I was being interviewed instead of me interviewing the property manager. So that's a great, <laughs> great strategy there, Colin. <laughs> um, for everyone that's watching, I would first and foremost like to say thank you and also encourage you to comment below to receive instant access to a free Hobart location report that is delivered by Edwards Windsor um, via their messenger. And, and, um, as um, let me check the comments real quick to see if there are, there are any questions that we may have. And nope, no questions. <laughs> so I'd like to thank everyone for joining us today and create a great rest of your day. Bye. Thank you, Colin. Bye bye. Thank you very much, Crystal. Enjoy your day.